On line 1070, Hrothgar's Shope begins singing the song of the Frisian slaughter, a legendary story now traditionally known as the Finsburg episode. For first-time readers, the details of the story are difficult to understand, which probably means that the poet's audience was familiar enough with the story to understand the Shope's oblique retelling. The details, however, are important to the poem because of the warning they give about the fragility of peace in Anglo-Saxon societies. The story begins when a party of Danes, led by Knaf, travel to Frisia. Knaf's purpose for his visit is to see his sister Hildebur, who had married the Frisian king Finn. The visit is peaceful at first, relying on the diplomatic ties that Hildebur's marriage have forged. Unfortunately, a group of, of Utes, another people group in, in Finn's service, attack the Danes and kill Knaf. Uh, that's Jutes, some pronunciations of it. Uh, the, the English pronunciation is Jutes. Some of the more Scandinavian is Utes. In the ensuing fight, Hildebur's son is also killed. Finally, a truce is called, but since winter has come upon them, the Danes must remain with the Frisians. They cannot return home. And Finn gives their new leader Hengist a hall and treats them as the same as his, treats them the same as his own men until they can return home. This action on Finn's part indicates his sincere attempts to reforge the peace that had been broken. He's trying to repair the damage that the Jutes have done. Once the truce is formalized, a funeral pyre is built for Hnaf, and Hildebur orders her son's body placed next to her brother's, and they burn together the flesh on his bones to sputter and blaze beside his uncles, as the poet describes it. The Danes spend the whole resentful, blood-sullen winter with Finn, homesick and helpless. When spring comes, the Danes long for home, but long even more for vengeance. When one of, the, when one of his men places a sword on, on Hengist's lap as a reminder of his duty to exact vengeance, he doesn't hesitate to attack the Frisians. They overpower the Frisians, probably surprised by the violence, kill Finn, ransack the hall, and take Hildebur back to Denmark with them, thus ending a very tragic story. The Shope's retelling of this story takes great pains to emphasize Hildebur's grief, since her loss is the greatest. The feud costs her the lives of brother, son, and husband, and a life among the very kinsmen who killed her close family. As a whole, this story underscores the constant danger of bloodshed erupting in the Comitatus, in spite of the best effort taken to maintain peace. The fact that this story comes just before Weothiel's feudal speech to Hrothulf emphasizes how difficult peace was to maintain in Anglo-Saxon cultures because of the, the overwhelming uh, desire and drive for vengeance, for bloodlust. But even more significantly, it points to a major theme of this poem, that the monsters that dwell within the community are often more devastating than the ones that come from outside the community.